What's going on guys? Welcome back to the workshop. It's great to have you here. A few of you might already know that I recently got commissioned to make four chandeliers for a local restaurant called The Little Pub. I'm really excited about this job because it involves both blacksmithing and metal fabrication. And it's also a pretty big deal for me since it's the largest job I've gotten so far and it's pretty complex. So let's get started. I'm going to do my best to show you the design I'm trying to go for. I normally don't draw things out. I kind of just work off the top of my head. But I figured it would be a good idea to do a little drawing for you so you know kind of what I'm doing when I'm working on this thing. Basically what's happening is there's going to be a large ring in the center. And that's going to be a 22 inch diameter and it's going to be made out of 4 inch by 8 inch material. And around this ring there's going to be 6 cages and those are going to be holding the light bulbs and those are going to be 6 inch diameters. And these cages, I'm pretty sure, are going to be attached with tube so you could run the wire through the tube and then connect them to the light bulb so it won't be visible. This is basically what's going to look like from the top down. It's going to look a lot better than this, I promise. But I wanted to give you guys an idea of the design I'm going for. So I just made two different types of bending forks. This one's really simple. I just took some 5 8 bar and I bent it and you could clamp it in the vise upright like this. This one's a slightly more complicated. Um, it's just a piece of pipe, another piece of 5 8 bar and I welded it to a piece of square tubing and this one you could also clamp in a vise. Um, and you could probably even weld some stock on here and you could put them in a hardy hole. Um, but I just thought it would be easier to clamp them into a vise for now. I'll let you guys know how these work. I'm not sure which one's going to work better but that's why I made both. Since this material is so thin, I think I'm just going to bend it cold instead of forging it. I'm also going to use this bending fork. I think it might work a little bit better for this application. And also the material is just under 19 inches long and that's going to give me a 6 inch circle. Now I'm just going to take the material over to the horn of the anvil and finish bending these ends right here. Thank you. 
Now I'm just going to take the ring over to this side of the anvil and I'm going to hit all the high spots. Okay guys, so here are all the six inch rings I made today. It took me the majority of the day to make all these. There's 48 in total, but it was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought straightening them out and making them a perfect circle was gonna be really hard. But when I took them to the anvil and I banged out the high spots, it made them perfectly round pretty quickly. This is the other thing I worked on today. It's a sample of one of the cages that's gonna house the light bulbs. There's gonna be six of these on each chandelier. Originally the customer wanted something a little fancier, they wanted scrolls down here at the bottom. Then they changed their mind and asked for something simpler. So what I did was I made these spikes and I kind of flared the top and the bottom. 
I'm really happy with this design. I just took a picture of it and sent it to the customer right now. I'm waiting to hear back to see if they like it. And if they do, I'm gonna continue on with the project. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I think once I post this second part to this series, it's gonna be a lot easier to understand what I'm doing. It's kind of difficult to figure out my design because everything's in pieces right now. But I think when I post the second video, everything's really gonna come together. And quickly before I go, I just want to remind you guys to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and please don't forget to subscribe. Like I said in my last video, I'm getting really close to 1,000 subscribers, and I plan on doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. I'll see you guys in the next one.